day trendsetters, John with Gravel Cyclist. I'm coming to you today from Harndorf in South Australia, which is a town in the Adelaide Hills. Momentarily, I'll make some commentary about the town. See you soon. Harndorf was settled in 1838 by Lutheran immigrants from a small village in what was then known as Prussia. Part of the town was named after the Danish captain, Hahn, who guided the sailing ship the Zebra to settle in the area. Handorf is Australia's oldest surviving German settlement and nowadays is an important drawcard for South Australian tourism. There are plenty of hills in this area and they didn't disappoint when I left town, all of which was straight uphill, but what goes up must go down. It didn't take very long before the course took me onto the first of many gravel roads that are virtually traffic free. Because this ride, like all of my rides from December 2019 and into January 2020 were in the Aussie summer, there's a lot of brown, meaning a lot of dry. This exact scene would appear lush and green during the late winter and into spring. And don't forget, Australia's seasons are the opposite of what most people experience in the Northern Hemisphere. Hello folks, I'm coming to you from somewhere in the Adelaide Hills on a railway line that's not really used too much anymore. I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, it was a former metropolitan line some time ago and I think the Steam Ranger Vintage Railway Society might have used this track at some point, uh, not 100% sure, so forgive me if I'm wrong, but regardless, the tunnel behind me is quite neat and this track, um, well, it could use some work obviously, and that's where the problem is. It costs a lot of money to repair railway tracks. So let's have a quick gander inside the tunnel, and uh, naturally, I'm going to ride through this thing. As you can see, some of the local graffiti artists have had their way with the tunnel inside. This is not by any means the oldest tunnel in South Australia. I believe that's privately owned now and is actually a wine storage facility. Riding a railway line is tough at the best of times due to the sleepers, or ties as they are known in the United States, and riding the ballast either side of the tracks is a faster proposition. A quick jaunt through some urban trails on the edge of suburbia and back onto gravel. The next stop along the way was the summit of Mount Barker, which is about 517 meters or 1,696 feet above sea level. In Australia, gravel roads, the surface conditions change often, so drive or ride carefully. And you can hear the abundant wildlife in the background. Hello again, I believe I am approaching the summit of Mount Barker. I'm on a fire track and it's quite steep. It's uh, got my 31 by 34 low gear pushed to the limit and carrying a drone on my back doesn't help matters any. So in hindsight, I probably should have bought out a 11 to 36 or even 11 to 40 for climbing some of these mega steep climbs out here in the hills of Adelaide, South Australia. Mind you, they're not all steep, or this steep, but uh, I've seen a couple of 20% grades in this neck of the woods. There you go, almost at the summit. And I took the uh, back way, the fire track way, which was quite interesting. 
but you can also take the main road up here which is also gravel so that's handy at the top of mount barker there's my steed the t-lab x3 that i'm reviewing and beyond that is the view below and there's a gravel road which you might be able to see that's the road i took to mostly get up here absolutely stunning views vineyards rolling hills farmland trees etc The descent down the vehicle access road is short but steep and demands a bit of care. In this scene, I'm approaching the small town of Callington and experienced a kangaroo encounter or two along the way. You won't see this anywhere in the world but in Australia. I ride beneath the southeastern freeway which links Adelaide to Melbourne and over the plains of the surrounding area. Next stop along the way is the small country town of Nairn, founded in 1839. Current population is about 4,800 people. One of the most important businesses in town is the pub. At this point in the ride, I'm taking a course towards Handorf. Along the way, I ran into Dave, another explorer of gravel roads. He's a member of the Gravel Chimp Strava Club. If I didn't mention it enough earlier, there are plenty of steep hills in this area, but this one at least runs parallel to a picturesque vineyard. And I'm back into Handorf, which concludes the video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on the channel. I'll see you in the next video.